Hey guys, um, a couple things I'm going to cover today. Uh, I figured I'd put out a couple of my favorite uh, pistols to show you uh, while I'm talking. But I've had quite a few people asking me, um, you know, should they buy registered or unregistered firearms? Uh, you know, what are they going to do if martial law kicks in and, you know, they've got the record of your firearms and this and that? There's a giant misconception. Well, well first of all, let me say this. Nothing I say is 100% fact. Always do your own homework. Always do your own research. Um, if you disagree with what I say, don't leave stupid-ass comments. Make a video, PM me, and I will attach it to this. You can get all the views you want off of it and explain if something I said is incorrect, if it's worth saying. But the, um, the gist of it is when you purchase a firearm at a gun store, you're getting a background check just to make sure you're not a felon. That's why it takes very little bit of time to run through. The only person who has a record of the firearm that you purchased is the gun store that you purchased it from. Our government does not have this giant database of every firearm ever purchased and whose name it's under and blah blah blah. If it's been committed in a crime, it is. But a new firearm that you purchase after I believe it's 48 hours, it's 24 or 48 hours, they dump the system and start over. I'm taking this straight from a, a gun store owner who's an ex-cop who I trust very much. So that's where I'm getting my information from. Um, if you disagree with it, like I said, please put up a video or a brief comment. But um, you buy a firearm, the government doesn't know that Mr. So-and-so purchased this gun, this serial number, here. So if it's used in a crime, they can't somehow figure out how. The only way they can find out is going to that gun store and find out who purchased that serial numbered gun. Because they know where the gun came from based off the manufacturer. The manufacturer can tell them what store or person it was shipped to. That's the only way they have any iota of trying to track something. So in a martial law situation, they can't look in their book and say, okay, this address, we're going to wipe out this block, and here you go. Here's the, this person's address. He's got all these guns. It's not how it works. It's a giant misconception. People say registered firearms. Now, I know in California, uh, back in the day, I don't know a lot about it, but something about the AKs, they said anybody who wants to have one can have one, but you've got to register them. So what did everybody do? Everybody actually really registered them, not what I'm talking about. They really registered them. And then I think the state, two years later, they said, okay, whoever has an AK has to sell it. Well, they then had everybody's information, who had it, where it is, etc. blah, blah, blah. You purchase a gun from a gun store, the only thing they know is you made a purchase. You could have then sold that gun one month later to Joe Blow down the street. Doesn't matter. I could take any of these guns, sell them to any of you, and there's no, tr there's no nothing. It's all hearsay, it's all I sold to so-and-so. There's no proof. I can sell this gun to you, whoever's watching. I don't even need to have paperwork. Should you? Yeah, it's smart to have a copy of someone's license or whatever, but you do not need to. That is not the way. It's like buying, you know, somebody's swing set, you know, whatever. So it's a giant misconception. The way I can prove that is the same principles when you go to a gun show. If it is not a licensed dealer, it's an individual person, you can purchase that gun off them. There's no record of that purchase unless the person asks you for a copy of your license. Therefore, there is no way that anybody would ever know that you own that firearm, just like if you bought it at a store. The worst case they can do at a store is maybe somehow figure out that you purchased a firearm. They wouldn't know what it is. But like I said, I, I don't think you people realize how many firearms are purchased on a daily basis since whenever. There's no way to track them. Um, so that, that's the best way I can word it. I, I may have left some stuff out. Um, I don't have a pause button or anything on this, so I can't stop and start and go re-over. But uh, hopefully you get the gist. If any of you have any questions, I'll answer to the best of my ability. Um, second part of this, well, what if martial law came in, in like Katrina? I get this question all the time, and they knocked on your front door and they said, we want your guns. Well... I'm going to try to be as politically correct about this as possible um, without being having a label placed upon me. Uh, first off, 
if that was getting that bad and assuming it's better somewhere else, my ass would be out of here. Now, I know all of you people before have said, I don't agree with bugging out. Yes, I think bugging out is stupid. My idea of bugging out is when you grab your backpack, throw it in your back, and you run into the woods. You're a dead man. You're not going to survive. What most people don't realize is you're going to be running on somebody else's property who's got a gun pointed right at you, and when you come too close to your shit, they're going to shoot you anyway. But, yeah, I don't want to get into that whole conversation, but to me, that's what bugging out is. Now, throwing your stuff on your back and having an alternate place to go, not just I'm going to run on so-and-so's land and, and, you know, cop a squat and pitch a tent and sing kumbaya, you know, that's, that's what I consider bugging out, and that's not going to work. But if you actually have another place to go in a different area, then yeah, by all means, pack up your crap. If it's a better situation, you know, if, if they're declaring martial law in Florida because something bad happened and everything's good up in uh, Virginia, you know, I'm going to be bunking out with my man East Coast Prepper. Um, but have, have somewhere to go and do. That's a totally different story. If I see things getting bad, I will pack up what I can and go. I'm not going to stick around. Now, the other uh, flip of the coin, say you can't go anywhere, say you're stuck because I know somebody's going to ask me this, what would you do if martial law came into effect and whatnot? A lot of you people have watched my videos, you know my mannerisms, how I speak, what I talk about, whatever. I'm going to leave this up to your imagination, but what do you think I'm going to do? Everybody needs to take a breath, calm down. And think about, research some stuff. The government does not have a list of every firearm you own. And if you are still nervous about purchasing a new one, just because they might have on record that you purchased a firearm, now they wouldn't know the serial number or anything, but they would know you purchased one, then go to a local gun show. Look in a newspaper, buy a firearm off somebody. Um, you know, watch out for these crazy bashes on Craigslist, though. Here people are going on ads to go buy stuff on Craigslist and they're getting shot because they got money on them. Um, that's apparently the newest uh, trick and treat. But whatever. Uh, again, I'm babbling as usual by the end of the videos. Uh, I hope you get the gist. If there's any questions I can help anybody with that's nervous or has concerns or whatever, you know, uh, please let me know. And I'll just throw in because I'm sure some people are going to ask. Um, one of my favorite, well, my favorite revolver is my Smith & Wesson 686 there. Got the uh, Kimber, it's just the uh, CDP. And of course my Glocks, 23 and 30. Don't forget Glock owners, that belt clip. It's great, it also fits in the uh, tactical holster. Um, the Blackhawk ones, it doesn't interfere. It's great because if you're in a hurry and a run, that's a belt clip, it just mounts right to the back. Um, you can Google it to find it because I, I don't remember what website I bought it on. But um, uh, it's great just for in a hurry. If you didn't have a belt, whatever, you can just tuck it in your pants. At least it has something to hold on to. Not like the movies where you can just stick it in your crotch and hope it works out. But um, I know. I hope it was helpful for somebody. Um, again, if you've uh, got any questions, please feel free to ask. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, take care. Freedom out.